Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can make your MacBook screenshot look cool by simply adding frame to it. So yeah, the video is going to be interesting. But before that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. So to add frames to your screenshot, we are going to use Shortcuts app. So there is a shortcut link in description. Go on that link and save that particular shortcut. And once you save it, uh, that's the shortcut for Apple Frames. You, uh, you will be able to check out Apple Frames shortcut over here in the Shortcuts app once you download it. So yeah, please go and check it out and save it. Now, once it is done, let's take a screenshot for example. Let's take a screenshot of Launchpad. Uh, you know, shortcut for screenshot is Command plus Shift plus number key 3. Once you take screenshot, this is how it will look like. So this is a normal screenshot and to make it look cool, we are going to add frame to it. So just select the screenshot like this, press space bar, it comes to preview. Then select the share option and then select shortcuts. Now once you get a pop up screen like this, if you have downloaded the shortcut, uh, which I have already told you to, then you will get an option of Apple frames over here. Select Apple frames, select done option over here. Then again, you will get a pop up screen in which uh, it will automatically detect the model you are using. Now I'm using MacBook Air M1, so it has automatically detected M1 is there. But if in case you want to add a frame of another model, then you can go to MacBook option over here and you can choose whichever frame you want. If you want for MacBook Pro model, you can select that as well. I'm going to keep it as it is. So select the model, select done option. And once the frame is added, again, you get a screen to uh, you know, select the location where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to finder, select save to finder option, select done. You will get a pop up screen where you want to save it, select that particular folder and then select open. Now over here, you can see new screenshot is added. So this is the old screenshot, which is a normal one. And this is the new screenshot, which comes with frame. So automatically M1 frame is added to that screenshot. Now let's take another example. Uh, let's say if we want to add another frame again, uh, select the image or uh, see screenshot and press space bar go to share option select shortcuts again select uh, apple frames select done option this time we are going to go in macbook option select done and now over here you can choose whichever model you want so let's say i want macbook pro 16 so i'm going to select 16 over here then select done option and once the frame is added you will get a pop-up screen. So select save to finder once again, select done. And let's again save it to desktop. And now again, new screenshot is added. So if I go and open this new screenshot, now you can see this is the frame of MacBook Pro 16. So we have got notch over here. There is one more important thing I need to tell you before uh, ending this video. And that is if you're using Apple frame shortcut for the first time, then there are chances that you might get uh, error related to uh, script reading. So all you have to do is if you get an error like that, so just tap on show option and give the permission to that. And then the problem will be sorted. Now, after that, you will be able to add frames to your screenshot like this. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.